Hi everybody, it's Valerie from the All Toy Collector channel and I'm actually in Disney Car Toys childhood room or Sandra's room. I actually shared this room with her while I was a little kid and then when we were teenagers we separated and moved rooms because my older sister moved out so I got a room all to myself. But um, here's some of Sandra's favorite stuffed animals when we were kids. Here's Jelly Bean Rabbit. I remember loving this bunny and Sandra did too. We could just uh, rub its hair and smell it. And it smells just like jelly beans. It has a cute glittery nose and jelly beans right on its tummy that smell too. <laughs> it actually still smells really good. And then my sister loved Cabbage Patch dolls and bunnies. As you can see, this is a bunny. And when we go around the room, there's tons of bunny stuff. So here's a cute little bunny. I think when you squeak its tail, I'd make a little noise. It has mittens, which are really cute, and floppy ears. All these bunnies came with names, and actually one of the bunnies' names was Valerie. It had a little birth certificate. It's a Valerie, so that was pretty cool. Now let me show you how much Sandra really loved bunnies. I'm going to show you something that she'll probably be like, no, oh, I can't believe you showed this. So look at this. A whole bunch of bunny snow globes. Holy cow. I think she loved bunnies. Her favorite stuffed animal was a little green bunny with a rainbow. So she actually made these. Okay, below the snow globes is this beautiful dollhouse that was my older sister's. I remember playing with this dollhouse with Sandra when my older sister went to school and we didn't go to school yet. So it's kind of like, ah, ha, ha, we're playing with her dollhouse. And there's this cute stroller I remember having and you would put Kelly inside. So cute. This is my older sister's favorite Barbie bed. And it actually would light up and um, it was really cool. There's some fun furniture and another little Kelly doll. Then let me show you this funny bunny thing. It actually hops when you move it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> Sandra really liked this thing. And you can see actually over here, here's my baby. And he loves Ken. This was our favorite Ken doll. We always thought he was so handsome. And this was our favorite car that we played with. And let's put Ken in the car. Can you put Ken in the car? Mm, maybe not. Well, let me show you the closet because that's actually where we played the most, which is kind of funny. So, closet time. Okay, so first off, holy cow, look at all these stuffed animals. I love cats. We, um, my mom went a little bit Bonkers with spoiling us with toys, so there's a lot of stuffed animals. There they all are. Wow, so many. My sister loved these tea bunnies. She had little plastic ones and stuffed animal ones, and I remember she played with them a lot. But when we played with most was this right down here. Our Barbie dollhouse. I think my mom wallpapered the inside of it and there's actually little pictures of us when we were little kids right here. This Barbie I really liked. She had crimped hair and she came with a tattoo and then you were supposed to add more tattoos to her. I don't think they make Barbies like that anymore. You want the Barbie? We have some other fun Barbies and old clothes in here. Here's a Toy Story Little Bo Peep doll. And then I remember playing with this Barbie a lot. She has awesome short hair. Ow. And look at this cool old outfit. They definitely don't make this. So I'll probably be sending all this stuff home with me to Disney Car Toys house and she'll have a lot of fun filming this stuff. I want to show you another stuffed animal that I remember my sister liking. It's a bunny, but it's kind of funny because you would push its ears in and pull it out, and I think it was a mystery animal. So you'd buy it at the store, and it would have small ears, and you would find out if it was a cat, a dog, a bear, and then it came with a shirt that would say bunny, too, that I think you put in water. You had to put it in water to find out what it was, too. So there it is, and then you pull out the ears. Whoa, it's a bunny! So they made a lot of really creative stuff to handle a long time ago. And another one is this one. And this one would glow in the dark. It had stars all over it. And its eyes would glow in the dark and it was really cute. 
And now let me show you Sandra's American Girl doll. Let's see who it is. Any guesses? Huh? It's Molly. She's not wearing her glasses right now, so she looks a little bit like Samantha. And it's even more confusing because my sister took my Felicity dress. So here's Molly wearing Felicity's dress with no glasses. She looks so pretty and I love this dress. So she looks awesome. Up here, there's actually Molly's bed, which is really cool. I'll have to take that down later. And over here, Molly can have a little tea party with her table and chairs. There's some extra dresses in here. There's a green dress for Molly. Oh, that's so cute. A plaid dress. Oh, and Sandra loves this the most. It's a little cake. Isn't that so cute? And that's it in there. <laughs> really cool. Whoa, that Barbie is really pretty. Awesome dress. There might be something else. Let's see. Another Barbie. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and there's one more thing I want to show you guys. So this is where Sandra and I would get in a little bit of trouble with my parents' as kids. Because here was our secret hideout. It's a little attic or crawl space. And there's some wood right here. And I remember we would play with our Barbies and sometimes put them in there and hide. And then my mom would be like, are you guys in the crawl space again? And then we'd have to run out. But we did have fun going in there as kids. Well now let me show you at least a few more things in Sandra's bedroom that I think you would like to see. Okay, over here is a fun Sesame Street bus. And it was like a toy box. Sandra and I used to hide in here and have fun or yeah, I'd pretty much just hide in there. One of us would go in there and the other one would put the lid on and sit on top of it and we'd scream, you know? <laughs> and here's a cute little white kitty. I bet Alex, Sandra's kid, would love this because he loves cats. And this was one of my favorite cats when I was little. It's just like that bunny. It was Peppermint Kitty and she smelled like peppermints. And then on this side it actually opened up and there's more stuffed animals too little bunny. Some other fun little ones. So one more thing. Here are all of Disney car toys ribbons. Both of us ran cross country and track and mine all toy collector ribbons are in my room. I actually just found them but Sandra was a very very good runner. Like insanely fast. We went one time we ran 10 miles and we're doing six minute miles everyone so 10 miles in 60 minutes. And yeah, so we won a lot of ribbons. And here's all her medals from running too. So you can write on her channel. Whoa, Sandra, Disney Car Toys, you were an amazing runner. So there we go. Well, I showed you pretty much all of Disney Car Toys room. I'm gonna show you one more thing. Hey. This was her kitty surprise. And we'll have my baby see how many little kitties are inside. Can you pull out a kitty? There's one, okay, get another cat, two, get another, get another little kitty. Yeah, three kitties, there's another one, four kitties, and that's it, four kitties in Sandra's little kitty surprise. Whoa, one fell over, it looks like there were three girls and one boy. Awesome. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to click like and subscribe and also come back to my channel because I will film all toy collectors childhood room, which has all my toys when I was a kid because my mom moved them all in there. So that will be fun to see and you can see my American Girl doll collection in that video and some other fun stuff. Well, goodbye and have a great day.